So the flag poised, goes up again now, and uh, they're off for the Weatherby's champion bumper and uh, Fernie Hollow in the red and white with the blue cap, the last to get away from the start, third time lucky in the black and white is also towards the rear and it's Israel champ in the maroon and yellow who's one of the first to show up with Ask a Honeybee, the white sleeves, uh, the white-faced darling daughter in the maroon and white is handy with the nose-banded audacity towards the far side in a blue and yellow jacket and can you call pulling hard uh, down on the inner. Uh, Andrew Mellon, a sheepskin noseband under Richard Johnson, is towards the outer of the field, upsides Marla All-Star. Appreciate it, tracks the leaders. Blue and green, uh, striped cap, off a fairly steady early pace. He's about three or four lengths off the lead, followed by five bar Brian. And then let me entertain you in a black and orange jacket in midfield from Brief Ambition, who's down on the inner. One True King with a yellow cap is tracking Panic Attack, the predominantly orange silks. Uh, Queensbrook at this stage waited with as they go into the first turn is on the outer of the field, a red cap. Julie's stowaway in the Royal Blue is among those uh, held up with the grey Linnelly King and Snowpiercer circling the field and then Escalane yellow cap to the Glancing Queen. Uh, then towards the rear of the field, Ocean Wind, third time lucky, and Fernie Hollow. And just in front of those in the red and green stripes is Good Time Johnny. So about to turn on down the hill, and it is the field being led by Israel Champ, who uh, quite effortlessly so extends by a couple of lengths now to Audacity in the nose, band racing just in second, Darling Daughter in the Jiggins Town, so it's a maroon and white is racing close up. Whole field covered by little more than 10 lengths. Adramel uh, wides in a prominent position. He's tracking Marla All-Star. Ask a honeybee with a hoop cap is right there alongside Appreciate It. And then five bar Brian, Queensbrook Snowpiercer in the orange jacket. Nose-banded grey Linnelly King is in the back third at this stage, tracking the likes of Can You Call, who's in the black and white, and then uh, Brief Ambition. Julie's Stowaway and the Glancing Queen are still being held up, so too Ocean Wind in a predominantly green jacket from Esker Lane and Fernie Hollow. Let Me Enter Tenya was dropped to the rear, being pushed along. Good time, Johnny is among those held up and third time lucky. Right around the outside now, as, uh, although at the back of the field, no more than six or probably even seven lengths off the leaders as they move towards halfway in the Weatherby's champion bumper. Israel champ, Marla All-Star has just taken second. Adramel in the noseband, a close third. And then Darling Daughter to ask her honeybee, appreciated a little wider out in a green sleeve jacket. To Five Bar Brian and Brief Ambition and then Panic Attack in the orange, shadowed by Queensbrook as they turn on down the hill. Behind these, Ocean Wind and Linnelly King, who's in mid-division, and then Fernie Hollow and Julie Sturway and the Glancing Queen, who's being pushed along from third time lucky and can you call Escalade yellow cap uh, held up on the descent good time johnny still fairly well back audacity has lost a lot of ground let me entertain you pushed along and snow piercer has dropped back to be uh, last of all they're heading on down now towards the last half mile in the champion bumper marla all-star in the center in the dark sleeves has come through with five bar brian the dark blue cap adramel shaken along appreciated he's getting there in the blue and green has come to join the leading line working across then to queensbrook with a red cap the white face the glancing queen has come through the field out wide in behind a one true king in the maroon and yellow third time lucky in the black and white is also closing in they swing for home and it's appreciated who sauntered into a narrow lead but he's immediately challenged by queensbrook on the left escalane is running on strongly with a yellow cap then third time lucky from a long way back fernie hollow is also staying on they've got a furlong to go with a champion bumper appreciate it being attacked on either side fernie hollow is joining him on the far side then Queensbrook behind these Escalade and it's Fernie Hollow who stormed into the lead of the house of Paul Town and Willie Mullins in the race that he's made his own at the festival. Fernie Hollow takes the Weatherby's champion bumper from Appreciated. It's very close for third between Queensbrook third time lucky and Escalade and they were a little way clear of Ocean Wind.